Hello, today's topic is drive tuning. We continue with our previous project where we show briefly basic robotics. You have in the description below location of every single project so far, including this one. Now let's continue. Why do we need drive tuning? We need drive tuning to make our drive as responsive as possible to the load that is on the motor mainly because we want to have fast reaction that the motor is following target position as fast as possible. There are several ways how to do the tuning and there are several tuning types. First of all, drive has easy or automatic tuning. Then it has a comfort, which is a bit more comfortable or adjustable automatic tuning. And then you can do completely manual tuning. Now for 70 or 80 percent of all the applications, and especially if your sizing and selection was done correctly, automatic tuning is more than enough. Now there are several ways how to start automatic tuning. You can start it using the HMI. This is the most convenient way. Now the second way is to use commissioning tool. And the third way is to try to execute auto tuning over communication. To execute it over communication, it starts to be a bit difficult. And the main problem is, in our case, a soft motion. Now, soft motion does not understand auto tuning operating mode inside the drive. Soft motion will try to interfere or, or stop your drive from moving. And the first thing what you need to do is decouple soft motion axis and the drive. Now, easiest way how to do this, but to still have certain level of communication with the drive is to change ethercate operating mode. You need to drop down from operational to pre-operational. Now let's go to our motion function blocks. First thing we will use axis 01 for our tuning example. And that means that three function blocks that we will use. So it's read write over ethercate, but also you see here reinitialization of the axis. We need to put outside of any condition of communication because we will lose the communication with the axis. However, those three function block can work also, especially read and write through the axis all the way down to the drive, even if the drive is not in operational state. Then we created state machine how to auto tune. Here is the state machine and it has around 20 states, but majority of which is just repeating, writing and reading certain parameter. So first thing what you need to do is change the operating mode of your Lexium device. So you see here Lexium 32M soft motion dot. So this is our drive for axis 01 dot set operating mode. This is a method where you set inside op mode to two. This equals pre-operational. In the next state, you check if real state is pre-operational. If it is, then you send to a drive command that drive grants exclusive access to ethercat. And this is this parameter hexadecimal 3001 index sum index E value needs to be one. When the writing is done, then you need to confirm that you really have exclusive rights over ethercat. And this is located in this parameter 3001 index sub index C. When this is confirmed, you check in state 40, bit 0 equals 1 confirms that you have exclusive access. Then you need to send minus 6 or 250 because it's a length of one byte parameter, which is operating mode that the drive goes to auto tuning. After that, you read from actual operating mode, is your drive really in auto tuning? When this is confirmed, then you can start auto tuning with parameter called 80 start located at 302F sub index one value you send one and you start the tuning. Now tuning takes around, let's say one minute. You need to check if the auto tuning is done. So this you can read in the status in 302F sub index two, you can check beat 14, which is X and beat of your auto tuning state. If this bit goes to true, or we say here one, then the tuning is done. In next step, you need to store all the data from the drive to EEPROM that you can 
reuse it next time when you just boot up a drive. So what you need to do is send to this 3004 hexa index sub index one value one and then you read from exactly the same parameter until the value inside this parameter turns to zero. Then the writing to EEPROM is done. This takes approximately two to three seconds. When this is done, then you just need to put the drive again to operational state. So this is done in two steps. First, you set it to safe operation, and then you set it to operational. If your drive is in operational state, you just execute reinit the axis that the axis goes back and communicate with the drive. When this is done, our tuning is finished. Now let's log in and start this tuning process. We will also trace our state machine in a trace. So we are already online. And if we enable this to true, now you can see the drive is moving and I will speed up now till the end of the tuning. Tuning is done, we save to EEPROM and we go back to zero. You can go to your, for example, multi-axis control. Okay, we can, uh, this is a master, we were working on the axis zero one and you can enable it and work with this axis normally, for example, set position, move it wherever you want and so on. That's it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.